Oh my god, dude. Did it before. I didn't think. There's no way that just happened. What's up guys, Logs here. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going for the V2 rocket with the STG-44. And this is my current class setup. The only thing I've really switched around is the magazine. Uh, I put on the damage round mags because I feel like it really increases the TM to kill. And uh, I can get a lot more kills with one magazine with the damage round. But uh, we're going for the V2 rocket, and they just announced that the beta is actually extending through Wednesday. So I'm actually really happy about that, because I can now get more V2s, and what the hell? I can go for uh, more V2s now, because uh, the uh, beta is extended. But the STG is a really good gun. It's probably the most used gun in the beta right now. The STG is really good. It's probably the most used gun in the beta, because it's the first AR you unlock. Um, you start out with and uh, you literally uh, have it at the start and it's a really good fast firing gun. Oh my gosh, dude. Going off right now. I like the STG a lot, but you're going to lose these like really close uh, close quarters engagements because of, you know, it doesn't have the fast fire rate like the MP40 Thompson and you, you're really outmatched at close range, but long range on like Red Star or something, if you're playing long range, Come on, it's not gonna let me use it? Long range though, you are definitely gonna be able to outplay pretty much anyone. Um, even snipers I've found, uh, just because long range engagements, you are really, really good with the gun. It really annoys me on this map, trying to uh, figure out where everyone's at, because you can spawn, you can literally spawn right behind people. Dude, that's that's right there is a perfect example of why the damage rounds are not really necessary but useful. You can literally shoot through like walls and shit. Ammo, I'm out of ammo on both guns, so I'm just waiting. Just gonna wait here for ammo. I'm not gonna call my dogs because you know, as I mentioned before, the dogs uh, count at the bottom of the screen, but they don't count towards the V2 rocket. So you really don't need to call them in. If you call them in, you'll never know what gun streak you're on. And I always enjoy knowing. What gun streak I'm on it's, it's, it helps me out a little bit, so. Oh man. I'm really playing passive right now because I hate playing this map um, and getting shot in the back. So I'm really playing passive. I'm not playing the objective. I'm kind of trying to figure out where the enemy team is going to be, where the enemy team is at. And that's why, uh, that's why the gameplay is going to be pretty slow. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. No! I hate the spawns on this map, dude. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run at this point. See, this is the problem, dude. My teammates are gonna win the game before uh, before I can get the nuke. My teammates are freaking gonna win the game, dude. That guy's looking for me. I can tell he's looking for me. I'm on 17. Dude, the game's about to end. No. Get off the flag, teammates. Honestly, I, I want them to take the patrols on at this point. I'm on a 19. Oh my gosh, dude. I freaking got a 19 kill streak. Playing on Gavutu, 6v6 patrol. This guy's really trying to hold me down. But yeah, we're playing on Gavutu, 6v6 patrol, and it's the best game mode, in my opinion. Or going for the V2 rocket. And the sole reason is because you can kind of play the spawn to your advantage. Uh, it's very random, the spawn in this game. Uh, at least patrol. I think domination is just as bad, but patrol has super random, super bad spawns at times. Just get destroyed, dude. 
But yeah, I decided to go for the V2 rocket with the STG because I haven't made a video on this yet. And I've also uh, never gotten the V2 rocket with the STG. It's not a gun that I use too often. I think, I think the MP40 is still the best gun in the game, but the STG is definitely the most used gun in the beta right now. Um, everyone's using it. You know, you get it at level one. It's a default class. So everyone's using this gun and I definitely think it's a, it's a really good gun. I knew a lot of people would want to see the class set up, want to see a V2 rocket with it. That's why we're using it and I definitely think it's possible. I mean, this gun is... Oh, this gun's definitely good and I think at long range it's going to be superior to the uh, MP40 but at close range you're really lacking and a lot of the engagements are going to be close range with these maps so... That's why I think it's uh, it's still not as good as the MP40, but I don't know when the full game releases, if there's like better attachments, you know, this might turn it into an SMG and it might be, you know, it might be a little bit better, but I don't want to push that. Yeah, dude, if you can control the recoil, you're going to have fun with this gun. Um, if you're very bad at re controlling recoil, then it might not be the gun for you. Is that these long range engagements, dude? I am, uh, I'm able to get these kills. Ooh, that's a sniper. I'm not going to push that. I always get killed by snipers. It's annoying. Don't want to deal with it. I'm not pushing it. But I got 13 gun kills. Look at that, I spawned right behind the guy who kills me. How messed up is that? Where? Where? Where's this guy? I had a conversation with my friend Marvel about movement, like if slide canceling and all this is honestly necessary. And I don't know if it is necessary. I mean, I do win a lot more engagements um, with my play style of sliding around and crap. But at the same time, Holy shit. If that would have killed me, I would have been pissed. I don't know if it's necessary, but I enjoy it. I enjoy running around like a psycho. Kill him? I did. Oh, they're gonna be behind me again. I'm getting out of here. I don't like that middle spot where I can just get shot from any angle. So right there, I jumped. I don't think it was necessary for me to jump, but it's just an instinct at this point. Like I just jumped instinctively. Like I said, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think the jumping is really helping me, but so from just from playing Warzone, like that's just what I've gotten used to. I don't think it's necessary to do all this crazy movement. I don't think it really helped in the long run, but I enjoy it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, if that would have killed me. I hate when I get on these nice kill streaks because then my uh, palm starts sweating, and I hate that, man. I hate when your palms sweat. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Need five more kills. We took the advantage. We're on top. Don't lose that zone. Nope, 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 nope. I hate these long range engagements, like I said. If I don't get it here, I'm literally getting off. Like I'm I'm dead ass. I've been playing all day. My palms are so sweaty right now. Dude, I keep moving back and forth. It's like a nervous tick. Two more kills. I need one more. Let's go! Oh my gosh, dude. I was so focused. Like, I'm not joking. My palms and everything are super sweaty right now. Going for this damn V2 rocket. Oh, dude. This is the class setup, man. This is it. Rock this class setup. 
Leave a like on the video, man, if you want to see more V2 rockets. I am so happy. I've been playing for hours, man. But 61 kills, V2 rocket gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm Logs and I'm out. Deuces.